Hello, it's your boy Skinny Chicken, and today I'll be showing you how I retextured my own armor in Terraria in 2025. Or in other words, how you can get started on making your own texture packs slash resource packs and retexture anything you want in Terraria. Aside from fonts, unfortunately. <clears throat> yes, I know I am 22 days away from 2025, but that's close enough. And one more reminder before we start, I don't usually make tutorial videos like this one, so I'm actually starting a Terraria series, and I just thought it would be really cool to show you guys how I made my own unique armor in Terraria. Okay, so now we can start. So these are the steps that I'm going to be covering in this video. And now that you have an idea of what we're going to be doing, let's get right into it. Step 1. Find the Terraria file on your computer. So I like to open up Steam, find Terraria, right click on it, go down to manage, go to browse local files, and here you go. The next important information is that we can't do anything with XMB files, and that is literally all of the files in Terraria. That's images, sounds, and fonts. So on to step two, downloading tea extract. Tea extract is going to allow us to convert the Terraria files into files that we can do stuff with. So if you're having trouble downloading tea extract, what you can do is right click on the download link and open it in a new window. And this will stop it from closing immediately when you try and click on it and click on the search bar and press enter and that'll initiate the download and there you go I'll download that to desktop close the tab and here it is so before we open T extract make sure to go back to the steam terraria file click on content click on fonts and drag and drop fonts out of the terraria folder and this is because if you have fonts in the terraria file T extract will fail to extract the files so now that we have the fonts out of the Terraria file, the next thing that we're going to do is open another file explorer tab. I'm going to separate these two. And now I'm going to show you where you can find your Terraria texture packs and resource packs. So I'm going to click on documents, scroll down, go to my games, click on Terraria and click on resource packs. And you're going to want to create a new folder. You can name this file base game for getting the pictures to retexture. So now that I've created this file, we can click on T extract. This application requires Java runtime environment 1.7.0. For some reason, I have to download Java again. I'll click install. And now that it's installed, we can click on T extract. We're going to click on the output directory, go to my games, Terraria, resource packs, and open up the file that we just created, press open, and press OK. So now all of the Terraria images are going to get extracted and put into this folder. So I'm just going to wait here until this finishes extracting. Alright, after 8 minutes the files have finally finished extracting. I'll press finish, and now all of these files are here. If I click on images, you'll see that all of these images have been converted to ones that I can look at now. And we have all of the items. So now that we have these, we're going to go back. Don't forget to put fonts back into the Terraria folder. Otherwise, Terraria will crash. We're going to go back. Back to resource packs. And we're going to create a new folder again. This time, you're going to call this one whatever you're retexturing. So I'm going to call this Chicken Armor. Next, inside of this, I'm going to go make a new folder called Content with a capital C. Otherwise, it won't work. And add a text document that we're going to call hack and change the txt to json. Yes. Next, we're going to open up the pack json file. I'm going to go open with choose another app and click on notepad. So next inside of notepad, I want you to you're mainly just going to want to copy and paste this. I'll have this in the description below. And this is going to be different for all of you. But what you're generally going to want to put is this is going to be the name of your resource pack. So I'm going to go with chicken vanity armor for author. I'm going to put it's your boy skinny chicken because that's me and place a brief description of your pack here. So what I want to create is retextures fish vanity armor into chicken vanity armor. 
If you're wondering what this major and minor is, this is the version like 1.0 of your pack. You can change this to 2.0, 3.0, and so on. Because this is the first time I'm creating this pack, I'm going to have it as 1.0. And now we can save this file and close it. And now that we have that, we're going to click on content and add another folder. But this time we're going to call it images with a capital I. Otherwise it won't work again. And now this, this whole folder to be recognized as a resource pack. So now we're finally at the stage where we can go and grab some pictures that we can retexture. Now if I click on base game for getting pictures to retexture and click on images, you're gonna see <laughs> that we have a lot of images. So I'm gonna show you a life hack to absolutely save your skin. We're gonna open a new tab and go to the Terraria Wiki and click on this and here you can look for anything that you want this is gonna make your life ten times easier so for example I'm gonna look up fish set now if you look down here we got the armor ID and the item ID so now I'm gonna go back to our resource packs I'm going to open up a base game for getting pictures to retexture in a new tab and pull that out. So this way, when I click on images and look up item 2500, we get the fish pants. Then I'm going to go back here and click on our chicken armor, click on content, click on images. I'm going to copy and paste this over here. And I'm just going to go ahead and look up the other items as well. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Then I can close this and we have our fish armor that I will want to retexture. And how I'm going to do that is by going to a new tab and looking up Pixlr. Pixlr is a free editing Photoshop software that you can just look up. I'm going to go to Pixel Editor, go back to here and drag and drop these three images into there. Alright, so now we have our fish head in a transparent background as well as our fish torso and fish legs I could start editing these all right so now that I've made a mess I'm going to export but be careful with using Pixlr because you can only export three times a day even if it is quick and easy to use luckily for me I already exported my three images now that I have these chicken armor should be recognized as a resource pack so I'm gonna go and open Terraria I forgot to put fonts inside of the Terraria folder. It should crash. It did crash. There we go. Try that again. Boot up Terraria. And here we go. So now if I go to Workshop, here it is. Chicken Vanity Armor. So we're going to enable this. Go back. And I'm just going to quickly see if I can get my hands on the armor. Our armor doesn't look like it's supposed to, interestingly enough. But you can see that the item itself has been retextured. So if I leave the game and exit, this must mean that I need to look up the armor ID, which is a different item. Yes, this is the fish hat. 172, copy, paste, and 107, copy, paste, and that's it. So we have the item that the resource pack changes, and now we have the armor set that the resource pack will change. All right, so now you guys have graduated. You have all of the resources and you've learned everything that you need in order to create your own resource pack. The last step is just drawing what you want, getting whatever images that you, that you want, and that's all. And the rest of this video and the next one, because I'm gonna be cutting this video off here, are just gonna be about me going into detail about how I profusely struggled to retexture the armor <laughs> that I am trying to retexture. And I will have you guys know, as a fun fact, while I'm recording and editing this tutorial, I am actually following the tutorial as I go along. <laughs> and I am showing you, like, as I am learning it, what is going on, and it's just a nightmare. In the next video, you will see I actually have not finished the retexturing the armor yet. I have the headpiece and 
the torso and the torso isn't working so i'm gonna figure that one out in the next one so thank you for watching i love you i love you guys so much please like the video please comment skibbity down below i i need it <laughs> i need it it's gonna boost my morale and i will see you in the next video Bye bye. So long. May Skibbity guide you, guide your way in these dark times. <laughs>